Hi, today I want to show you a new effect in my GIF sequencer. Now it's the version number 2.2, so I've already downloaded and extracted here. So how to do that, you can check it all in my older video. So as usual, I start the program with the GIF sequencer GUI. And now it's trying to detect my lights. I'm using a 400 uh, strings. Okay, it's detected. Close it. Okay, now you see that there's already a demo. I, we will talk about this a little bit later. And let's start with uh, the generate to get a template file. So as before, it will scan through my GIF directory. And now close this one. So for today, we only want to see the new effect, delete the GIFs and the text. Text uh, has been introduced in the previous version. So you can check out the older video. Now we got the chase effect here. Let's save it in a new name. Tutorial. Save. So what is the trace effect? Basically, it's a one-dimension effect. The GIF effect was uh, we assuming we you got a 2D plan, so maybe a pegboard, and you can display the graphic on a 2D matrix. But the problem is if you don't want to do the pegboard and you want to put your lights along your roof or something like that, and it's very hard to map it. So that's the reason I create this effect is uh, just to put the color in one line and it doesn't even require mapping. So it will run the effect according to the sequential order of your lights. Uh, let's start doing this. You can see there are some parameters here. I'm going to create a new line and the first one is the duration at the moment I just put it maybe five seconds and frame per second this is the speed so which let's do it quite fast and now I need to specify a color file let me call it demo colors .csv we will get back to this file a little bit later and the step size I want the light to move one light each frame so put it as one and the segment I will talk about this a little bit later just put it one for the whole string first and the number of frames because I, now I want to make some dots in the string and move it from the very beginning to the end so I, I've got 400 lines so I need at least 400 frames to move it across the whole line okay let's save it now I need to define the color files which I specify in the effect. So let's go to here and you will see there's a data directory and under data directory there's one called colors. I already put some here for the demo trace effect. Now I'm going to grab this one, make a copy. It's easier to use the existing one and modify it. Now I call it demo colors. Let's open it. I just want to show you the top line. You can see there's count and RGB color and the white. At the moment, I want to start with black first and then let few dots running through. So I need 400 lights set into black color. And now I put two white lights, 255. 255 so I've got 400 black lights and two these two will run through the 400 basically uh, this pattern will repeat so save it so now let's refresh this list now I, you can see my effect is here tutorial so if I've got everything correctly then I can upload my trace effect Okay, somehow the light is not detected. 
Okay, I just restarted the program. I hope this time the light will be detected. Upload again. Okay, now the upload is done. You can see the light is running through. I only use the one strand of the 400 light. So you can see it's running through the, the first 200 and here is I didn't roll out the second strand of my light so you can see it at the bottom running there so it take a while to restart at the beginning so the next thing is uh, I want to show you how to use the segment let's open the file again here we got the segment one I want to split it in four segments and let's run it and see so now you can see there are two white dots running at the same time because i have divided the string in four segments the white dot will start at each segment at the same time and there's a problem you can see because i'm running 400 frames and each segment uh, there are only 100 lights and after it run to the end and there are still a lot of black frames showing, so it's quiet, there's nothing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change this. So here is where I specify the number of frames. Now I only need 100 frames to run to. So instead of put 100 here, I can put relatively to the number of lights. So I put minus one, which means if the segment is only 100 light, there will be only 100 frames. Okay, save this. And I want to do something here as well. In the color file, here I can put 400, but I don't want to put the absolute value 400. I can change it to minus one as well. And this is referring to number of lights in one single segment. Uh, I don't want to have white light again. Maybe just put a two green light here. Okay, save the color file. And there's one more option what you can do, the segment here. So if I divide it in segments, they will run in the same direction. If I put a minus here, the following segment will run opposite. It's a mirroring feature. So let's save this. Okay, now you can see the segment is still 100 and the uh, number of frames is only 100. And now you don't see the uh, dark uh, period because it will restart after 100 frames. And the mirror effect you can see at the end both the, the light here will run from up to down from both sides. It was running in the same direction before. Now they are running the mirror direction. So you can see that. One more thing I want to show you is the step size. So let's go back to this file. And here you can see the step size. I can do it relatively to the segment as well. So if I say uh, minus 0 0.5, so basically the step will be half of the segment, so it will like a kind of flashing, it will jump to the different position instead of uh, running through. So let's try it. So you can see now it's flashing quickly through the string. So this is a kind of flash effect instead of trace. As you can see, there are some parameters you can play around. And also in the color files, you can do it the, here with relative value. I would recommend you to use relative value instead of absolute because uh, you can apply the effects easily on any lights. It doesn't matter how many lights in the device, you just apply the effect, it will run. I'm going to run the demo file now and 
uh, you can see the effect and have a look in the file and you can check out the parameter how I use them and try to modify it and play around you will quickly learn how to do your own stuff let's upload it I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.